If you could just say your name, your position and who you coach straight down the lens of the camera. Okay, yeah, uh, Christian Edwards, um, Senior Lecturer and Sports Coach at the University but also Director of uh, Cardiff Met Men's Football. Oof, uh, as a youngster, played sport from a very young age, football and rugby, um, and was playing for the Cubs football team really, and kind of something to do, and it just kind of transpired from there, and was fortunate enough to have a, a long career in football uh, up until I retired when I was 30. Inspiration, um, my grandfather. Yeah, he's certainly my inspiration, somebody I'm no longer with us, but somebody I looked up to, um, and somebody um, that I kind of aspire to be, I suppose, in many ways, um, as I get older. Um, it was at the end of my football career, um, when I no longer wanted to go on those long journeys um, up, up north, uh, that I started to kind of look at the game in a different way, started to, when the coach made decisions, started to think, well, what, I've done it this way, done it that way. Um, so it was really from there, and then I came to the university to study, and the university asked me to take over the football team, naturally, having played football so long. And it was really from there taking the football team back in 10 years ago um, from the depths of Division 3 um, right up to where we're at now. And um, along that way, I've gone through the uh, coach education system, which has been interesting to say the least. Um, it's, Cardiff Met means, FC means a lot to me. Um, the football club, and I call it sorry, a, a team, a football team when I first took over. Um, was in dire straits, we were in the, the armpit of Welsh football struggling, um, nobody really invested any time into it and um, Mike Davis of the Student Union asked me to would I take it over and um, it's been taking over the football club, building a culture within the football club to be proud of, uh, buy-in from everybody, um, staff and, and students slash um, players alike. Um, and ultimately it, you know, it allowed me to afford my pos uh, position at the university where I ultimately probably got a job at the university through the football, um, so it means a hell of a lot to me, uh, to my family, to my children. So, yeah, I suppose it's ingrained in me now, Cardiff Met Men's Football. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't like to say philosophy. Um, it's a belief, it's a way of doing things. I think I'm very much principle-based um, from when I was a youngster. Um, Frank Burroughs talked about inspirations early. was an ins certainly an inspiration from a coaching perspective. Um, believed in hard work, values, beliefs. Um, and being humble, being very humble, I think um, that's what my principle of coaching is. Um, but the way I act um, is erratic, aggressive, um, or what I'm not off the pitch really. Um, I think it just becomes the emotion that you put into the into it. And people that watch us on Saturdays will see this loud mouth, uh, bald headed, bearded bloke shouting a lot of rubbish. But behind that, it's um, somebody that really cares about the players and the, and the club that we work within. Uh, it's, it's difficult but enjoyable, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a balance between what we do, um, but it, it's, it's an enjoyable one and you get to see the players first hand, you end up supervising some of the, the players work and um, you get to see them as that dual career athlete both um, as, an, as an academic um, and them as students and, and myself um, as the academic and them, them on the football pitch, it's good to see the learning both on and off the pitch. Yeah, it's really good. Um, a few years ago, the kudos for me was to win Bucks. Um, and we did it in a way that I'd never expected. Um, fell slowly out of love with Bucks because of the, the, um, the standard of certain referees and places that we go to. So I adopted a stance of that we would use Bucks as a developmental process for the Welsh Premier League. Um, and we really won our first Bucks title um, ever um, with our reserve team. And it's been, it was phenomenal to do that. And when I say reserves, just players that don't always play on a Saturday, they get their game time on, on, on a Wednesday. And then we were lucky then to, to, um, to win it last year again um, for a second year in succession with the same philosophy. And then that feeds into the Saturday team, went into the World Premier League. And those boys that play in the World Premier League know that if they don't perform on a Saturday, they'll be playing on a Wednesday. And likewise, those that perform on a Wednesday will be playing Saturday. So we get a real good blend from that. That's allow us to have strength in depth. That's about so-called first team squad consists of 30 players which is really good and then you've got the other lads there and they see a pathway through our under-19s team so it's a, it's a balancing act but it's a good um, thing to be able to juggle. Okay brilliant, thank you very much for your time Christian right. and good luck this weekend. Cheers, thanks guys. Cheers.